What's going on guys? So today I'm gonna be picking up a new uh, lizard. It's not a rescue. I'm gonna be buying this guy But as you can see I already got the seats done and everything because he comes with a big enclosure and you're gonna see what it is It's a really cool lizard. I think I had seen another type of this lizard on Craigslist before But I didn't purchase it because it was much bigger This one's a little bit smaller and I could handle it easier because obviously if they're a large lizard and they're not tame they're gonna be more aggressive so i don't really have an enclosure built uh that's big enough to accommodate an aggr a large aggressive lizard so you know if you have a small enclosure and a big aggressive lizard you get in there that guy is not gonna be happy so um yeah that's why i'm getting a smaller one and a pretty decent sized enclosure for it i'll see now when i get in person in the pictures that look good for it so yeah all right so there's the new enclosure now I just gotta get home and set everything up. Now to give this guy a little snack, we gotta unthaw some chicken hearts. And there we go, let's let this thaw and then I'm gonna go showing you some other things going on here. All right, so originally I was gonna put the enclosure there because let me show you how big this is. As you can see from bottom to the top, it is 25 and a quarter inch, right? And the person that I bought this enclosure from, they told me it was 24 inches, so I thought it would fit properly. But they didn't account for the top lip here. And what happened was that it is 25 and a quarter. And like by an eighth of an inch, it does not fit in there. We tried setting it up and it didn't work. So we're not going to be able to fit it down there, which kind of sucks. But it's not that big a deal. I just put it here. And I moved this over this way and put it behind the couch. So at least it works right there. And I also have a brand new enclosure coming in for the rhino iguanas. That's going to be about the size of this whole thing right here. And I'm going to be putting them in there for a while longer until they're completely tamed up. They're already eating from my hands, but they are a little bit skittish. I got to clean out their enclosure now and refill the water bottle or the water bowl. Uh, because these guys leave a mess. Like they start digging. And oh, there she moved their tail. And what I do with the scraps, I just throw them right into the roach bin right here. Just throw it in there, and that's it. And then dump the water. I'm actually going to have to wash that out. And something that I want to do in the new enclosure for them is take away this hide. Because this is a completely round hide, and they get in there, and... If I come nearby, sometimes they get spooked and hide in there and then there's nothing I could do with them. So I want to take away the hide so that they they get more comfortable seeing me around. So here we go, some fresh water for these two. And another guy that always mess dirties up the water is the black tree monitor. So you can see this guy, he likes to hide under. Let me see if he'll get spooked if I put my hand in here. I've been working with him a lot, so he is more tamed up. He, now he's like, oh, this guy doesn't have anything for me. Let me get out of here. You can see he got a little spook, but I'm going to wash this out. And the thing with this is all the isopods get in under here, and then we have a ton of casualties when we do this. So I'm going to just leave it here and wash it out from here. And there we go, some fresh water for this guy. And he's kind of freaking out right now. I'm going to feed him now so that he calms down a bit. All right, let's see if he wants to take a cricket. There we go. So yeah, really, if you have these types of lizards, the way to their heart is food. That's the simplest way to get them to tame up. And of course, you got to be... With monitor lizards, it's kind of like... You got to... I forget what they call it, but... Let's get this fatty right here. And there we go. Took another cricket. So that's something that I've been doing to try to tame him up so that he gets comfortable with my hands being around him. And one more thing that I do, let me show you. All right, so what I was trying to say there, I just left that part in because I thought it was kind of funny. But what I was trying to say is that uh, these monitor lizards, they remember what happens throughout their lives. Very good, they're very smart lizards. And if you scare them a lot, if you grab them and they don't want to be grabbed, 
and they'll have bad experiences with that and they'll remember that they'll re think back at when you were grabbing them and when you were handling them badly so you don't want to scare them in any way you want to be as gentle as possible with them especially growing up uh, you want to go under the belly to pick them up things like that and not just go and grab them because that's going to scare them and they're not going to get comfortable with you at all they get they'll remember that very well uh, they also remember the good experiences so when you tame them when you feed them hand feed them they see oh this guy's not hurting me when his hands get near me things like that they'll remember that so that's kind of what i was trying to explain there but i just i was just focused on feeding the lizard and it completely went past me all right so i like to just lure him onto me using my using the cricket so he gets more comfortable with me there you go look at him this guy is very gentle he doesn't bite me or anything uh, when i hand feed him he's very gentle to take the cricket he does have really sharp claws though look at him he's such a cool lizard I remember before I got one of these guys, I used to go to the pet shops and I always look at them. I'm like, wow, this is such a cool lizard. And I didn't ever get one because of how expensive they are. But now I finally got to get one. And the ones that I also like a lot, the black tree monitors are one of my favorites. And then the blue tree monitor is my favorite. Um, I might get one of those. Maybe, I don't even know. If, I, I'm guessing they could breed. If I put a blue tree monitor on a black tree monitor, I don't know if that's... um bad or not i haven't really seen a mix or anything i haven't really looked into them too much but uh maybe i'll get a female blue tree monitor and see what happens if not i'll just keep them separate i don't really care i'm not really trying to breed these guys uh the ones that i'm mostly that i mostly like to breed are the tortoises uh i'm not really into breeding lizards and snakes too much although it would be a cool experience and of course godzilla himself I don't know if these guys could even be tamed up because I know they get more aggressive as they get bigger. I don't really know if you could even tame them up so that they wouldn't be bitey. But Godzilla, uh, so far he really, he comes up to me a lot and that's just him asking for food obviously. But I don't know if maybe in the future if I keep doing it with the tongs and all that he'll get uh, used to me only feeding him with this and he wouldn't be too defensive. We'll see though as he grows. It's not like I really care if he's tame or not, but it'd just be really cool to have a tame snapping turtle. And there you go. This guy has gotten huge since the day that I got him. He used to be like the size of a quarter. All right, so the chicken hearts should be done by now. So let's go get them and feed the new lizard. Let's see, this is nice and, oh yeah, that's perfect. This one's super squishy. All right, so yep, not frozen at all and it's pretty warm too. All right, there we go, some chicken hearts. And of course, I'm gonna try to feed this guy with the tongs. I've already got him to eat off of tongs one time. So let's see if this works. So, buddy, let's see if he wants to eat. And this guy isn't too crazy about food. He's not really food driven. Boop. Want some? Some chicken hearts? Oh, and if you guys don't know yet, this is a water monitor. Um, I was told he was wild caught. And let's see if he wants to. And he is missing a UVB bulb. I have to get him one of those. But he does have the heat bulb right there. Alright, let's let him wake up a little bit. So what I was saying before I got cut off by the phone call um most animals when you wake them up right away they're not very like they're not gonna go to eat right away they take some time to get comfortable to eat 
because obviously if somebody comes into your room barging in and wakes you up you're not gonna just eat right out of the right out like right away unless it's somebody you know but you know people are different here you go I'm sorry, this, this is it's just funny that he's just staring at me. He's like, what is going on? Here, I got some chicken hearts for you, bud. Let's see if we'll rather take it from here. Are you serious? Wow. So he takes it from there and not from me. Kind of disappointed. Just kidding. But... Let's see if he wants this one. Come on, take it. Maybe he just wanted the big one. Okay, he doesn't want to take it from me. Um, I don't know, I didn't really talk to the owner too much about how he cared for him. Uh, so maybe the owner just uh, put it on a plate and he didn't use tongs. I do like to tong feed my animals just so that they get more comfortable with me. Although this lizard's already pretty tamed up. You better stay in your enclosure. The food's right under you, right there. Where do you think you're going? Where, where are you going? Damn, he has really short claws. Come on, bud. No, don't leave. Stay right here. We're gonna have to lock this up if he keeps trying to get away. He isn't really scared of me or anything, but he does like to just wander around. He he walked out of the enclosure the other day and he went behind the filter over there. Let's put him back inside. Since he doesn't want to eat from my hands, we'll just lock him up and let him finish that by himself. Oh yeah, this is such a cool lizard and I wanted one for a long time. Somehow he didn't cut me when he put his hands on me. The other day he did step on me for like a split second and he cut me up real bad. You don't want any more? No, oh, there we go. All right, but yeah, this is the new monitor here at Shadows Reptiles. I'm not sure what I'm gonna name it yet. I don't know if it's a male or a female having sex. It. Hopefully it's a male so he gets bigger, but not really too big of a deal. Um, but yeah, I really want to get like a huge water monitor. Like I know the biggest one was 10 feet, but they usually get about six feet full grown. Um, but yeah, it'd be so cool to have like a 10 foot water monitor one day. Yeah, he's going for a little swim there. The water isn't too deep. I did have it deeper earlier, but I took out some of the water because it was a pain to get out all the water. So hopefully we get to get this guy a bigger enclosure outdoors. I do have some set up um, outside, but I need to fix the the gates or the, the doors so that they can't get out because these lizards are super... Oh, he just took a poop. Um, but these lizards are super smart. And if I didn't have this lock here, he would be able to get out of this enclosure. So yeah, I just got to watch out with him because I really don't want to lose him. So I got to make sure that the cage is super secure before putting him outdoors. Bad news guys, I lost all my Instagram followers and now I'm back to zero. Uh, just kidding, the Wi-Fi went out and the, the tracker just uh, died, so I gotta reset it now. Uh, the Wi-Fi is back, but I haven't changed it. So if you wanna see how many followers I have, go to Shadows Reptiles on Instagram. Make sure you add one more to that when you're there. Yeah, I think he's gonna try to walk back out now. Here you go, take it. 
Take it. Everybody wants to see you. Like, eat off the tweezers. Come on. The giant tweezers. Okay. Yeah, this guy, he just wants to be wandering around. The funny thing is, when he does try to escape, he doesn't just run away. He, he just walks out, and then he just slowly walks away, like if I'm not going to realize what he's doing. Yeah, he is tame. Obviously, I'm, I need to be careful because he was just eating. So, I got to change that bulb. It's been flickering every once in a while. So, I got to watch out what I do with him because I don't want him to think that I'm food since I was just touching all the meat. And since he was just eating. Oh, I do have to take a thumbnail with this guy now, so. All right, where are you going now? Yeah. Oh shit, cut me up pretty bad there. I need to go get dressed so that I can take some thumbnail pictures with them. Watch out, buddy. Stay, stay in there for a little bit. I'll be right back and I'll get you out, all right? Ow. Look at him. These sharp claws this guy has. Ooh. Hi, come over here. Relax. Oh shit. Yeah, is that good? <laughs> he is gonna destroy my neck and my head. Or I can come up with a TV. Bring him down. This is so cool right here. <laughs> is that a good angle? Oh, that's cool. Get closer. All right, so there we go. She's in her new cage and we're gonna let her relax for a little bit. Um, and I did see, like I just checked her underside a little bit and I think she might be a female. I don't know, I only got like a little glimpse of her, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna do a sexing video probably. Uh, I'm just waiting for the tools to come in and let's sex all the iguanas. And I have to do some research to see if these guys are sexed the same way as iguanas and snakes. And if they are, then I'll definitely try to sex them too. All right, guys, so thank you guys for watching. That's pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment telling me what you want to see in the future. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on post notifications and have a great day.